Hi, and welcome to Unit 8, Day 5, Com Composite Transformations. So today we are going to be putting transformations together. We already know how to complete a translation, a reflection, and a rotation. Today we're going to do multiple transformations together to the same pre-image. Okay, so what I would recommend doing is in your folder, and when you take your test, you'll have access to this too, the second page of your formula chart for our geometry class has all your transformation rules. It reminds you how to reflect across the y-axis, the x-axis, what it looks like when y equals a number that graphs us a horizontal line, when x equals a number that graphs us a vertical line, y equals x, we have our rule for how to trans how to reflect across y equals x. We have our rule for when we reflect across y equals negative x. We have our rotation rules of 90, 180, and 270. And we have our translation information as far as coordinate notation moving left and right and moving, oh, that should be a y, moving up and down. Okay? All right, so translate. Triangle QRS, if Q is at 4, 1, R is at 1, negative 2, S is at 2, 3, by the rule, X, Y translates to X minus 3, Y minus 4. Then, rotate triangle Q prime, R prime, S prime, 270 degrees counterclockwise. Okay? All right, so our rules. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to translate. And they told me what I'm going to translate by. It tells me I'm going to translate by x minus 3 and y minus 4. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take away 3 from my x value. 4 minus 3 is 1. And then I'm going to take 4 away from the y value. 1 minus 4 is a negative 3. Then I'm going to move to r to find r prime. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. 2 is my x value, x minus 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 3 minus 4, that's also negative 1. So I'm going to graph both, all of my triangles here. I'm going to graph the first one. Triangle Q is at 4, 1, 4, 1. That is point Q. R is at 1, negative 2, 1, negative 2. And S is at 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, S. Q, R. So this was my pre-image. And then we translated by negative 3, negative 4. So we went left 3, down 4. So each point went left 3, down 4, S prime. Down, back 3, down 4, Q prime. Back 3, down 4, R prime. And we can check. Q was at 1, negative 3. R was at negative 2, negative 6. Oh, hold on, did I go back too far? 1, 2, 3. Oops, I did go back too far. R prime, I counted wrong. R prime brings me here. Negative 2, negative 6. That's why it's good to do the math part, right? And not just look at your eyes. And then S is at negative 1, negative 1. So here is my... Q prime, R prime, S prime. Ignore this part here. That's not correct. All right, so then, now it says we're going to, it says here reflect, but my directions say we're going to not reflect, but rotate. 270 degrees, okay? So I don't remember those rules. I'm gonna look at my rotation, or my transformation rules, and I'm gonna say, okay, if I wanna rotate, 270 degrees, my xy point is going to become y, and then the opposite of x. Remember, we don't say negative x. y, the opposite of x. y, the opposite 
of x. And we are applying this after we've applied this. So I'm not going to use these points anymore. I'm going to apply this information to my q prime, r prime, s prime. So my y value is negative 3. The opposite of x is negative 1. My y value is negative 6. The opposite of x is a positive 2. My y value is a negative 1. The opposite of x is positive 1. Okay, so this is going to be this figure rotated 270 degrees. So it's going to go 90, 90, 90. It should end up somewhere over here. Okay, negative 3, negative 1, negative 3, negative 1. Now notice this is called Q double prime because it has two primes on it. So Q double prime. Then I'm going to have negative 6, 2. Negative 6, 2 is my R double prime. And S is at negative 1, positive 1. S double prime. There is Q, R, S double prime. Rotated 270 degrees. Okay, so in this figure, this is my pre-image, and your image is the very final image. Image. Okay, and this is just like a stopping point on the way. This is my pre-image, this is my final image after I've done both of these transformations. Okay? All right, in the next video, we're going to look at what happens when we want to translate, and then we are going to reflect. So this time we really are going to translate and reflect. All right, so come on back for that next video. Thanks for watching.